Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and in this video, I want to go quickly over how the development of the IMS, which is mainly coming out in these new low-cost projectors, is also likely to affect the price of the, the larger projectors as well. As you know, you know, there might be quite a few locations which are having problems converting due to the cost. Now, if you've got a quite a large screen, the new smaller low-cost projectors aren't really going to get you there, are they? They're, you still need a large projector for a large screen. But the new IMSs, or the integrated media servers, will probably give you a little bit of a savings there uh, because uh, they'll be, you know, usually they'll be integrated into the price of, the, you know, go to the one manufacturer, Barco, you'll buy the whole solution in, in the one purchase, which is a cost savings, one salesman, less work. Then um, you'll have uh, the fact that uh, you don't need the external server, which is a, a considerable costly item. It'll all be integrated into the one system. So, you know, I expect a reasonable um, price drop in, in the implementation of even, of even the, the larger projector systems when we implement the, uh, the IMSs. Now, we'll just go into a little bit more detail about the IMSs in this video. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, a DCP comes, it's a big file on hard drive, uh, and that has to be installed into your media server, the uh, uh, you know, SMS as it was typically called, screen management server or screen management system. Um, and it has to be transferred onto their hard drives. These hard drives need a certain throughput because you know, DCPs are quite large and etc. So the server needs quite a lot of I.O. but it doesn't need a lot of smarts. So it's quite a, a good, in, you know, it's quite ingenious for them to be able to squeeze it into that small chassis uh, of the, the the secure cage in the projector, um, and even more so that uh, the 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 Doremi one actually is squeezing some small two and a half inch drives in there. There's a bit of a limitation there because two and a half inch drives have a limited size, so the size of storage in those based that type of implementation may be there, and that's why the Christie, for example, in their implementation, have gone for an uh, outboard storage system. They require either a SAN, which is basically a, a network-based storage where you plug directly into, you know, a, a dedicated SAN directly into the, the, their IMS, or also from via ESATA. But it's likely that DRMEs can also do that type of capability. You know, it might be interesting because you actually need more than the limited storage that you have on the three little internal drives. And I also expect similar products to come out from other manufacturers, GDC and, and possibly Dolby uh, uh, and Cube. Now, there is a bit of an aspect, uh, um, you know, we really need to take into account here as well. It's an, it's an interesting decision to make or uh, going forward with the, with the solution you provide because we've got three projector manufacturers. As you can see, Christie has basically come out with their own uh, IMS and uh, selling theirs. Uh, with their server, which I imagine will give, you know, they'll be able to sell it quite cost effectively. Uh, so that's brought another server manufacturer onto the market. Just off the top of my head, there's Darren Me, Dolby, GDC, uh, Cube, um, there's XDC out there, it's not very well known, um, which is part of Barco to a degree. And then, um, then you've got the new Christie. So it's a bit of very popular, very crowded market at the moment. It's probably a bit of uh, shrinkage going to happen in the future. So we want to make sure, you know, it's probably an important decision to decide which one you're going to choose. Um, another aspect of this is that the the, the, the Christie one uh, is a very new product and there's not very clear about how they, that will work in with your current TMSs or anything if you've already got those installed yet. So there's a few aspects we need to be aware of with the new developments in the, in the IMS. Uh, but definitely it's a good cost savings. But they do have current limitations and other, other bits and pieces there that we need to look at. Like, I still personally feel like uh, there'll be needs for other outboard systems for, easy, for alternative content. Uh, these DCI-based servers, because of the stringent, stringent requirements of the security and every time you change a line of code, 
theoretically they need to be recertified that it's unlikely once they do get solid reliable DCI playback that's probably all they'll do you know the need for um, the variety of codecs etc that flies around the internet if you just want to drop it onto your screen having to transcode it to a DCI file and all that sort of heavy heavy lifting uh, is a little bit uh, problematic and so the need for you know alternative playback boxes like we may manufacture one for one of my company called the DCINE server which will pretty much play any MPEG-2 or H.264 and other codecs like Cineform and other bits and pieces it's a very versatile box so uh, there'd probably be a need for those for certain markets and certain situations or alternative content uh, locations may need access to that sort of versatility as we had in the past needed access to digital B cams and DVD players and um, you name them there's tons of them out there so uh, there's those sort of aspects we need to keep aware of and how the products are going to you know evolve in the future of how they fit into the market and fit into the digital media landscape of how you utilize them so you need to keep that in mind but it's a very interesting development and it's a very good cost savings and these cost savings of course flow onto the larger projectors because you don't need to pay for as much of that la that the, the servers as a been, been minimized considerably and you can use for example in the Christie's situation you can use uh, domestic based storage SAN or, or eSATA uh, based uh, disk system so that, that's good to see and uh, it's good saving so keep an eye on that if you are needing a bigger projector or you are talking to about bigger storage subsystems these this implementation actually gives you access to those sort of capabilities but do again keep in mind how these systems may affect uh, your TMS operations and other aspects those things are a little bit unclear yet but I'm sure they're that they'll all be organized or arranged by the time these things get to market so anyway thanks for listening to this video uh, and um, I'll try and cover some more on my end of film uh, technology and, and the last you know some things trying to uh, lower the price and get us over the line so we can all all get our cinemas over to digital uh, anyway this is James Gardner the Cine Tech Geek bye for now